Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I was going to show you all. I finally found it working IK system. It, uses, it does use the control rig. And uh, the guy who teaches it uh, speaks only French. And there are no English uh, subtitles for it. But it's, uh, it's a pretty good system. And you'll see that everything's pretty smooth. There are a, a bit of quirks here and there, like the feet still go through there. It's, that offset's probably easy to do though. And then if you see them walking through a slope, you'll notice. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but if you, most people won't notice it, but sometimes you'll see his feet go through the floor for just a hair of a second, but that can be adjusted inside the uh, control rig. So the setup adding the control rig is pretty easy after you get it set up and setting it up is the more difficult part of it. So if I open up this, this is all I did. I just added the control rig right here on right after the state machine and this is all the code right here. So you'll see that's a lot of code. I commented all this myself accordingly to what I could understand from the scrambled auto translation that YouTube gives us. And we just have, you have to do this uh, in Unreal Engine 5. I tried to translate this over to Unreal Engine 4 and it wouldn't work. They don't support uh, the copy and paste for this and they don't support functions in the earlier versions either but I'll go ahead and give you a rundown as to what's going on here so basically we're creating these uh, controls and uh, we're setting these controls this one is set this one is set to root these are set to the legs these two up here keep him uh, like kind of balanced whenever he's moving up and down slopes and he's taking steps on steps and uh, this is just the root right here so basically what we're doing is we're getting all these controls right here and we're setting all these controls to the locations of those bones where they're at just to make sure that they're in the right places right here we're doing line traces for each foot above and below we're starting off 100 centimeters above and we're going 100 centimeters below the foot the reason why we do that is if his foot is is under the floor it needs to still be able to detect the floor so it can bring his foot up above the floor and if his foot is above the floor we need to be able to bring it down to the floor so we're doing this and we're just getting uh, saying floor found this is a, a target offset uh, that we're going to use to offset the feet this is uh, a normal which is basically the normal of the ground which will be pointing uh, it'll be pointing I think either up or down off the ground I think it might be in the negative pointing down and uh, we're using that to displace his feet in the direction of the floor so right here is uh, the rotation so they rotate the pelvis based on the uh, slope and then here at the end we're ro rotating the feet towards the lowest foot right here we're correcting the foot positions positioning on the slopes and we're just uh, adjusting the foot height for each of these and that's all under here so it corrects the highest foot so that it's placed properly on the floor that's this right here it only moves the foot if it is the highest and there is ground under it else don't move the foot 
I'm not 100% sure if I translated that right, but basically this is the pelvis target offset which is going to be on the ground, uh, and it's subtracting that from the foot offset. We're, ro we're rotating it based on the location right here of the bone. We're using a spring interpolate that does not exist in earlier versions of the control rig, so it's only available for uh, the 5.0 version. There, you can just use a regular interpolation in the earlier versions though. Right here he's just inverting it and then he's feeding the interpolation into the Z direction. So this rotates it. Uh, it rotates this based on its location and where it should be according to the target offset in the Z direction up and down. It's doing that for each foot and then after it's adjusted the foot height so if if uh, for the lowest foot it's gonna bring the pelvis down and then it's gonna bring the other foot up and then it's gonna adjust the foot rotation here and that is just gonna be for slope so that the front of the foot does not go through the slope. And then right here we're just reapplying the uh, pelvis control. We're applying the pelvis control and rotation like its location, rotation and all that. We're applying that to the actual pelvis bone. And then we're using the full body IK plug-in which gives us this right here to set the foot location and rotation for each foot and the spine and again this this right here on on my character creator character it would be spine 3 but on the Unreal Engine mannequin it's spine 2 and that just prevents it so that if we grab this right here and we oh well, if we can't do it right now because I have all this locked locked in place but if I were to grab this foot and I were to drag it out normally his whole body would rotate in the general direction as well so it would uh, and you don't want that you don't want his whole his whole upper torso to uh, move with it so that right there is just to stabilize the upper body and that's pretty much it uh, I may eventually do a whole uh, course on this but it's pretty it's a pretty long one and I'm not really familiar with it enough yet to go ahead and do that so it may be a while before I do a full breakdown of this but I will put the link to his video down in the description so that y'all can uh, follow it and this is the guy right here